Hello, my beautiful, darling Cancer babies. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina, and this is a Cancerian-only channel. Cross-watchers are welcome. If you would like to view other sign placements, you could visit my main channel, Tarot of Light. The link is below. Um, I do have a Virgo-only channel. If you would like to check that out, it is also below. Please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when the winners are announced. Um, if you already have the notification bell clicked, unclick it and click it again because I've been getting uh, messages stating that people aren't getting notifications uh, for my readings until like a day after they post. So if that's happening to you, just click and un just unclick and click it again, okay? Um, so anyways, winners are announced on the first of the month on the community page. Uh, I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, and crystals. Just hashtag what you would like to win in the comments section below, okay? Um, readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation. These readings are for people that if you have someone in mind, if you're looking to reconcile, if you're going through a hard time with your person, sometimes new love does come out okay um so guys if you know if you're not dealing with a love situation then it's not you know it's not for you okay <laughs> I, you know i get people in the comments that are like i'm done with love and i don't want anybody okay so i don't really know why you're watching a love reading <laughs> like, i don't know but regardless guys okay so just keep that in mind that that's what these readings are for okay moving on Spirit, tell me about cancer, please. What mess ooh, what messages do we have for cancer today, please? Messages for cancer today, please. Messages for cancer. I'm using this murder of the crows deck, and it is so nice. I love this deck. Okay. Tell me about cancer in love. Cancer, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Okay. So we have the world card, and we've got the ace of wands. Tell me about cancer in love. Tell me about cancer in love. We've got the king of wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. And we've got the four of pentacles. This deck is like so perfect for Halloween. Okay. Tell me about, tell me about cancer, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. We have the three of swords. And we have the Queen of Wands. Interesting. We've got the Eight of Pentacles and we've got the Fool card. Okay. So, Cancer, I don't know if this is your side or your person's side. So, I mean, with the world card and the ace of wands, this is definitely, um, do I want to say an ending to a relationship? It doesn't have to be, but it's definitely an, a, a chapter ending in a situation and something new coming together. Now, with the king, queen of wands and the ace of wands, this is extremely fiery and extremely passionate. Okay, extremely fiery and extremely passionate. The Four of Swords and the Three of Swords, though, I feel like this is a representation of holding on to a lot of heartache and a lot of past pain. So, Cancer, if you're reconciling with somebody, then it's like the problem isn't really getting resolved. You're coming back together with somebody through sex, okay? Or if you're meeting somebody new, which this person could live at a distance, by the way, okay? Um, if you're meeting someone new, you or this person could still be holding on to severe heartbreak okay and this is why sometimes when we see readings here that could indicate that new love is coming into the picture this is why the past presents itself because you know there could be things that happened in your past that you're still holding on to that could affect this new love okay 
I mean, we've got the full card and the eight of pentacles. So again, this could, could potentially be a reconciliation taking place where you guys are trying to work on the connection and start over and take that leap of faith and try to make it work cancer. Or this could be an energy of, you know, going towards something new and really working on starting a new life for yourself. The problem here is, is the four of pentacles and the three of swords. Somebody is either holding on to a third party situation, even if that third party situation situation is not physically present even if somebody is not physically having sex or even speaking to somebody you know um i myself just went through a breakup right so if i start a new relationship with someone else there are parts of me that are still holding on to that pain even though mentally i feel like i'm truly ready to start with someone new like i really want to go in all in and build something i'm ready for that do you understand what i'm trying to say guys so this could be your energy or it could be your person's energy you're going to have to take that as it resonates. And again, for some of you, this could be a reconciliation and this can be new love. But I do feel like this is very sexual based, guys. I'm not going to lie. I do feel like it's very sexual based. So whether it's coming together as a reconciliation or new love, sex seems to be what's ultimately bringing this together. Okay, it's like almost like healing through sexual chemistry tell me about this world card please tell me about this world card for cancer uh we have the ace of pentacles and the ace of wands for many of you i'm telling you right now for many of you this is 100 percent new okay for many of you others of you it could be reconciliation you take it as it resonates okay but we do have the four of wands here with this king of wands energy now, I, I'm seeing the Emperor, and I saw the Empress before. I should have taken it out. Maybe this is a twin flame situation. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. What is being held on to here? What is being held on to here? We got the Lover's card, Gemini Energy, Adam, Eve, and the Snake. So there is something here that is still lingering, Cancer, whether that's on your end or this person's end. It could be a drug addiction. It could be a gambling addiction, a drinking addiction. It could be another person. It could just be the pain. It could just be that, you know, the unhealed shadow side of somebody, whether that's you or your person. There's definitely a true pair on the board with this King and Queen of Wands. Definitely a, stro a, a strong soul tie energy with that Lover's card. What is this Three of Swords, please? King of Pentacles in the reverse. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Okay, so Cancer. Whoever's on this side, whether it's you or your person, I feel like there's tremendous heartache here over with this King of Pentacles in the reverse you know, having a very unstable foundation, um, not having that grounded energy. So, you know, Cancer, this could go all the way back to issues with your father or their father, okay? Uh, abandonment issues, or this could just be an ex situation that you are coming out of that was very non-committal, very on and off. This person did not make you feel safe. There, I'm, I'm getting the word safe and stable very strongly. So again, this can go back to childhood, or it could be, you know, from childhood to your relationships. The person on this side, their heartache with that three of swords energy, what this snake energy and this connection could possibly be is the pain of not feeling safe around people. The pain of not believing that people are going to come into your life and stay. Um, that, that, that energy of there is no loyalty in the world. People aren't committed. People don't keep their promises. Okay. So this could be that negative behavior. Okay. That, or that, ne those negative thoughts. Queen of Wands with the Ten of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords and the Four of Cups. So whoever this is coming back around, Cancer, whether it's new or old, and again, I do have to say, oh, we didn't clarify the Ace of Wands. I do have to say for many of you, I feel like it could be new because we do have a lot of sense here of new beginnings with that um, full card, Ace of Pentacles and that Ace of Wands, okay? 
we do have someone here that's going to want to move very quickly, Cancer. And with the Four of Cups, I feel like there's going to be a little bit of hesitancy here or a sense of like, no, I don't know if I want this again. And what's causing that blockage, okay, is that fear of, it's not even really fear. It's like this person, the way they see the world, Cancer, is from an energy of nobody stays, Nobody stays, nobody is truthful, nobody is honest, nobody is loyal, nobody is committed, nobody will ever do right by me. This is the thought process of the person on this side. Now, I do see a king and queen of wands. I did see the emperor and the empress, okay, and I am seeing the four of wands. So, the emperor and the empress is the embodiment of all four kings, all four queens, okay? This could be the start of a spiritual connection where you guys are going to ascend together. And the good news is, is that you're meeting on solid ground. You're meeting on even ground, king and queen of wands, you know, and hopefully you'll be able to ascend with this person to emperor empress level. We do have the 10 of pentacles and the four of wands here. So this does have the potential to make it long term as far as I can see. The problem is, is that when we start a relationship on this level, Cancer, this is where the tower moments come in because we're starting a, a relationship here and building on a cracked and rotted foundation because this type of mentality of already going into a situation and not believing that it could be fruitful is very bad. Okay, and that's why I feel like this is a little bit more sexually based because someone here is saying, okay, I'll allow my passion to flow, but at, there's no cups here, Cancer. And the only cups that are here are the Four of Cups, which is an energy of, you know, seeing the cup that's being offered to you, but not wanting to accept it. Okay, so whoever's on this side is willing to have a relationship, but it's like their heart is locked away because, you know, they're in this energy of people just aren't real. You know, people just aren't real and it's going to lead to me being hurt. Tell me about cancer, please, in love. Tell me about cancer, please, in love. Cancer, please, in love. Cancer, please, in love. Tell me about cancer, please, in love. Tell me about cancer, please, in love. Okay, this is a lot of cards. We've got the Knight of Wands, and we've got the Six of Wands, and we've got the Ten of Cups. Wow, Cancer. So the Knight of Wands and the and the Knight of Swords is very fast-moving energy, and especially what I'm seeing here, Cancer. Let me just explain to you what I'm looking at. This Knight of Wands energy is looking directly at this new beginning, Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands, and this Six of Wands energy is looking towards the future position, okay? And let me just show you what I'm seeing here. Now, I know when you guys hear the Knight of Wands, Cancer, everybody panics and automatically jumps to player. No, the Knight of Wands is just somebody that is very passionate about what they want to pursue, whether that's being single, whether it's multiple options, whether it's just wanting to go out with their friends. Now, Cancer, if it's you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're going to be very persistent on pursuing you, or this could, you know, be your energy, Cancer. I don't know. But this is somebody that is very confident in this new beginning. They're looking towards the future. We've got the Ten of Cups here and we've got the Four of Swords. So Cancer, I feel that what we have here is somebody that is emotionally available, that is emotionally ready to go all in. This is someone that is very confident. This is someone that with that Six of Wands energy, they have fought their battles, they came out on top, they learned their lessons, and they're ready for success and prosperity in their life. Four of Swords. This is somebody that is ready to settle down with that Four of Swords and that Ten of Cups. This is somebody that wants someone to cuddle with and be happy with and, you know, have a partnership with. Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Queen of Swords and the Seven of Cups. They don't understand why the person on this side is logical, not emotionally responsive. They're not understanding why it's like this. Um, 
the hanged man and the five of swords. So, and, and the chariot here with the two of cups. I, I feel like, you know, the, the energy of the person on this side is kind of waiting for the person on this side to truly leave behind the negative emotions. Because with the chariot and the two of cups, the person on this side is extremely confident in the fact that this is a strong soul tie energy and that this can work long term so cancer you place yourself where it needs to go you could be the person that is extremely confident in the long-term ability of this connection and you could be dealing with somebody that is more sexually focused because their heart you know in their heart they they just they've lost hope in love okay Tell me about the Knight of Wands here for Cancer. The Knight of Wands for Cancer. We've got the King of Cups. Tell me about the Six of Wands for Cancer. And we've got the Empress. Cancer, the person on this side has a tremendous amount of love for this connection for you. I don't know, you know, what side you're on here, Cancer, but this is a person that is very much so emotionally available. This person feels like they have met their divine counterpart with that Empress energy, somebody that they can build with, someone that has strength, someone that's a master manifester, okay? But again, Cancer, Five of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups and the Ace of Swords. We're dealing with a very intelligent person here, Cancer. This person is aware that with that Eight of Cups and that Five of Pentacles, something needs to truly be disconnected from and or left behind. Four of Swords, the Ace of Swords, and the Ten of Swords. This is somebody that, you know, the King of Cups energy is a very intuitive energy. So Cancer, the person on on this side, whether that's you or your person, has a very deep knowing and understanding that they are dealing with somebody that has been betrayed, hurt, backstabbed. You know, they're dealing with somebody that has been broken down in multiple ways. And they do understand that what needs to happen is this person needs to provide a level of stability to the person on this side to get them to understand that the worst is over. That they are coming in here offering 10 plus 11 plus 1 is 11 cups and then we see the 1111 11 card. Okay, some of you may be seeing uh, 1111 or three ones specifically or 1010 10 possibly. Okay, so Cancer, I mean, I'm telling you right now, what we have here is one person that is more on a, su a little bit more on a superficial basis where it's more about just sex, sexual type of stuff, okay? Um, not so much emotionally available due to past trauma. And this person that does see a future and they do have this deep knowing and understanding that the person that they're dealing with has to get over certain things. Now, again, Cancer, Cancer, this could be a reconciliation taking place where the person that you're reconciling with does have this understanding that it's going to take time because before they are forgiven. Or if this is someone new, it could, it's just very, very intuitive energy here of knowing, you know, what their person is going through. Okay. Tell me about this Queen of Swords energy. Queen of Swords energy with the Five of Wands the eight of swords and the seven of cups, you know, so cancer, there may be a, a, a very strong uh, energy of PTSD here, post-traumatic stress disorder, because with the queen of swords and the five of wands, you know, the person on this side is cons continuously being attacked or mistreated in a way or accused, um, or just a lot of drama is happening here, uh, because we're dealing with somebody who's emotionally very guarded. So it is going to require the person on this side to have a very tough shell. Eight of Swords and the Seven of Cups. This is somebody that is very much so um, in their head to the point that with the Seven of Cups, it may create illusions or things that aren't there. Uh, for instance, like, you know what I'm saying? If this person is out going to get milk and they take an extra 15 minutes because they stop to get gas, automatically a fight will pursue because it's like, where did you 
did you go? Where did you stop? Were you talking to someone else? Were you texting someone else in the car? Did you go meet up with someone else? It's like because of the trauma that this person has experienced in the past, okay? Um, we do have the Six of Swords here and the Nine of Swords with the Strength card and the Ace of Cups. Wow, Cancer. And the King to the Queen of Cups here with the King to the Queen of Wands. Okay. And the king to the queen of swords, damn cancer. We already have three true pairs on the board. All right. So cancer, I do feel like what we're dealing with here is either somebody completely new or someone that's coming in to reconcile. And this person is a completely changed person because with the ace of cups and the strength card, there's an energy here of, I love you enough to help you get through this. I love you enough to help you tame the beast within you or the demon within you or that pain within you. Nine of Swords and the Six of Swords, I'm going to sit with you through the pain that you're feeling. Someone here may even experience very bad nightmares at night and this person will sit there with them. Do you understand? I will help you get through your Six of Swords of getting through the pain, getting through the damage and helping you, you know what I'm saying, move on to more calmer waters. Seven of Swords, the Page of Swords, and the five of swords you know when when the person that we're talking about here that has this emotional damage um flips out loses their shit goes crazy doesn't trust you know what i'm saying um with that seven of swords energy consistently feeling that they're being lied to taken advantage of or hurt that page of swords energy actually is able to read between the lines and understand like they're not taking things for face value they're not saying oh wow this person person is just insane. No, they're seeing the pain underneath. Okay. They're seeing the pain underneath it all, which is really beautiful. Um, so cancer, if you're reconciling with somebody, this is someone that has a knowing and an understanding of how badly they've hurt you. And they are willing to step up to the plate and stand by your side until you know that they, that you, that you have forgiven them. Or if this is someone totally new, just understand that this person truly sees you. They're they're not seeing the crazy. They're not seeing the crying. They're not seeing, you know, your defensive behavior or vice versa, Cancer. This could be you that sees inside somebody, okay? This person truly sees what's happening on the inside, okay? All right, let's do Cancer and all 12 signs. Um, What deck do I want to use? All right. Cancer and all 12 signs, please, in love. Cancer and all 12 signs, please, in love. Cancer and all 12 signs, please, in love. Spirit, Aries to Pisces. Cancer and all 12 signs, please, in love. Aries to Pisces. Okay. If we're dealing with an Aries, we've got the Eight of Pentacles, we've got the Justice card, and the King of Wands, Aries energy. This person truly does want to... Uh, bring fairness to the situation. Um, they want forgiveness. They're going to start acting right and putting the work in. If we're dealing with a Taurus, Nine of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, and the Sun card, unfortunately, this is someone that is way hyper independent, way too happy uh, being single, okay? If we're dealing with a Gemini, Five of Swords, the Eight of Cups, and the Moon card, um, I feel like a fight may break out. Somebody may walk away, but with the Moon card, I feel like it's over a misunderstanding or there's things that still need to be said here you guys still love each other with that moon card if we're dealing with another cancer the nine of wands the world card and the page of swords a truth is going to come out here or somebody's going to say something very cutting and it's going to be the end of either the relationship or the way things are going in that relationship like there's after this event takes place or this thing gets said or this truth comes out Things will change from this point forward, whether it's with that person or not. If we're dealing with a Leo, Seven of Swords, the Queen of Swords, and the Page of Cups. Um, somebody here may have lied, cheated, or done something really bad, and they're coming back with an apology. They're not going to be met with open arms. If we're dealing with a Virgo, we've got the Hermit, we've got the Six of Cups, and we've got the Strength card. Um, this is somebody that still is thinking about an ex or a past person. 
So this is someone that may not be totally ready to open up emotionally. If we're dealing with a Libra, we've got the Ten of Cups, we have the Tower, and we've got the Empress. Someone may be finding out that they're pregnant, or somebody could be announcing a marriage, okay? If we're dealing with a Scorpio, Ten of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands. Cancer, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, I feel like your person may be extremely exhausted. This could be a boss figure or somebody that works really hard, and I feel like they are tired, even though they're presenting themselves as somebody that you know can carry the world on their shoulders keep in mind this is someone that's tired if we're dealing with a Sag we've got the Emperor we've got the three of wands and we've got the page of wands this is someone that's looking for a person to dominate uh, they are looking for like a, a, a Dom sub type of thing this is somebody that wants some their person to be either a lot younger naive in in ways this is somebody that likes control if we're dealing with a Capricorn, the Knight of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, and the Two of Pentacles. Um, if you're wondering whether this person has feelings for you or not, they do. They just like to take things slow because they don't like to waste their time on things that aren't going to bring success. And if they take things slow, they can see if this is worth their time or not. If we're dealing with an Aquarius, we've got the Ace of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, and the Two of Wands. Um... I'm not going to lie, someone here may be um, deciding to tell you the truth that there's someone else in the picture or somebody may be making the decision to come forward and be honest with you and apologize about something. If we're dealing with a Pisces, the Knight of Wands, the Chariot, and the Four of Wands, this is someone that wants you cancer. If you're dealing with a Pisces, this is definitely somebody that is pursuing long-term commitment, okay? I love you guys so much and I will see you soon. Take care.